Hello everybody. We are going to make a flip book and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to start with one, two, three pieces of computer paper and coming from right to left or left to right, you're going to fold the papers in half. Crease it, open it back up again, and now cut right down the middle. Now I'm gonna put this one off to the side. I'm gonna take this back over here and I'm going to take this and from right side to left side, fold back over again. And get it folded over to the other side and crease. Open that back up again. And cut. Stack these pieces on top of these pieces of paper. Nice little stack. Set that off to the side and repeat. Papers, fold it, press down, open it back up, and cut. So now you have More strips, take these, take these, put them together. Now take these and this stack and put them together. So you've got all of your stacks of paper all together, just like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take these and go from left or right and fold to the other side. We're gonna do it from this side, here we go. And press. Sometimes I like to take my scissors and really press it down. Really press it down. Because now we're going to use our stapler and we really want to make sure those staples go all the way through this thick piece of paper. So here we go. That can sometimes be a challenge. So you got to give it all you got. One. Depending on how good a quality your stapler is. Mine's not so good. All right. Staples. And now we roll. Roll, roll, roll till about the middle. And now we have here on this side, we want to take the shortest piece of paper and cut all this off. So we're going to do that. Take your scissors and give it a haircut all the way to the last one. Gotta have muscle for this one. All right, I gave it a haircut. So now all those papers are even with that first top piece of paper, all even. Unroll and you have yourself A flip book. Lip. Now, take that and you can create any image you want, making sure that you draw the same image. We're going to do a very simple ball just to show you, but you do the same shape, the same image, the same picture, and just move it or change it ever so slightly. You want to make sure that it matches up from the previous picture. So I'm just going to have a ball kind of bouncing, kind of going up out of the page. Here my ball is going to go out of the page and back down again. Each page should be the same one as before, but changed ever so slightly or moved ever so slightly. And that is the trick 
to showing how it will look like an animation. Because when you flip it really fast, it will look like it's moving. I'm going super fast and I'm only making a circle, but you can make anything you want with more detail as long as it is changed very slightly. Here we go. Whee! And there you have it. You have created your own Flip, book, animation. Have a great day. Enjoy your flip book.